Hello, I'm Elsie and this is my friend Siggy. Today we're going to tell you all about Bluetooth codecs. First of all, you need to understand why we need codecs. It's because Bluetooth chips are very small. When you want to transmit lots of music using Bluetooth, you need to make the music smaller so that it fits into the chip. Siggy, how do you think we do that? Because you've made it smaller, you need to make it bigger again to hear it. So how do we make it bigger? But you still can't hear it because you've not got any ears. And that's how a codec works. First the encoder makes the music smaller, then the decoder makes it bigger again. That's why the Bluetooth codec is called SBC, as it's the smaller, bigger codec. I designed the smaller, bigger codec over 20 years ago when I was just a baby sock. But now we need a better codec. Do you know why? It's because now that we have earbuds and streaming, we listen to even more music. That means I've had to design a more efficient codec that makes the music even smaller. How do you think I did that? And because it's even smaller, we need to blow it up even more at the other end to hear it. I needed to find a name for my new codec. Initially, I thought of the obvious, which is a much smaller, bigger codec, but that would be MSBC, and we've already got an MSBC codec. Then I thought I'd call it after me, so it'd be LC2. But that might be confusing. So I've decided to call it LC3. If you want to find out more, you can download the full LC3 specification from the Bluetooth.com website. And that's all you need to know about Bluetooth codecs. Thank you for listening.